hello everyone uh, in this video what we will try to do is uh, we will try to see how filtering data and uh, getting a particular data works in spark and we'll try to compare the api with the uh, pandas api mm, the left side is a pandas jupyter notebook and the right side is a spark apache tori notebook so in pandas to do filtering uh, you would probably do something like this you would probably have something like this as the filtering condition like this right uh, which will give you a series of true false true false and here in this case condition. this should give you your uh, filtering uh, i like the spark api better because in spark you will actually be writing filter and we will be passing the condition here so it will explicitly be saying that you need to do a filter um, you will be passing the column filter based on this column here my condition do something like this so this is my condition and if I uh, do a select of let's say plus and that's it Sale price. Is it? Uh, show, let's say, three. Sixty, sixty, seventy. Oh, it's like two plus two plus two. So, this. Now the uh, values are almost the same, so you can see I can pass my uh, filtering condition like this. Uh, so in pandas, but uh, the getting a particular data from it in pandas is actually better. So you have two ways in which you can get the uh, pandas. Uh, you can get a particular data from pandas. So you can have the doc uh, API in which case you give the first row or rather the zeroth row. If you can see here, this is the like index, so zeroth index and the column, and it will give you the output, or you can filter out the column and then give the based on the index so something like this should work and there is no dot log like finding a particular data is not very convenient in uh, spark so you will need to do uh, we can do the filtering if we got them here so Mouse. Now, in this case, I can filter based on a value. So, dot filter show. You can see that my ID, which is my
first column is id so 80 is 1 so i know that it is 1 and then 2 and so on so printer id equals to 1 triple equals to mean that you are exactly equivalent to 1 and then we select and then you can it. So, right if I do one, plus two, like this, then I can do something like uh, value is basically an array. So, if I do Zero. So okay, this should give me the output. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll probably take a look at uh, reshaping and concatenating. Uh, so thanks for thank you for guys for joining.